This is the first time me using it. See, it was untouched before. Focus. Um, it's really nice, actually. Wow. I'm loving it. Hello, you guys. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. Today, we're going to be doing a standoff dupe alert between the two products. It is the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer and Studio Secrets Magic Perfecting Base by L'Oreal. Now, I know that this has been reviewed and, you know, everybody loves it. It's amazing. And there is a dupe for it, uh, which is an e.l.f. primer. But the e.l.f. primer has been sold out everywhere for over a month now. So I wanted to see if there's something else that can be a dupe for this that no one else has talked about just yet. So if you're interested, then keep on watching. I'll do a little intro on these products. Uh, oh, sorry. First, let's just appreciate this top. This is by Karl Lagerfeld, and you could see his little um, profile, his head here. I love him so much, and I went uh, and shopped at his store here in New York on West Broadway. The store is gorgeous. I wanted to buy every single thing in it. And his um, clothing is not as expensive as Chanel, but you know, it's the same designer. So I was so sad to see him go and I, this is like my Carl moment. Anyways, I thought you guys would appreciate this. I love this shirt so much. All right, back to the primers. So Tatcha came out, I think a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago with this uh, product. It costs a whopping $52 for 0.7 ounces or you can buy a small one like that which is it's considered a travel size and this is 22 dollars for 0.24 ounces so i didn't want to buy the big one because first of all i will never go through it second it's too expensive i buy all the products for the videos myself i do not get pr i do not get sent anything because i'm a very small channel so um I couldn't buy a big one <laughs> so about these type of products um, I've been in the industry for over 10 years 12 to be exact these kind of products I'm talking about smoothing um, like silicone based um, primers have been on the market for such a long time I'm talking about 12 years ago a company called Clarence which is a French company and they're mostly known for their skincare, but they do makeup as well. They had this exact product 12 years ago and it was called, it, they still have it, it's called Instant Smooth uh, Perfecting Touch Primer. It's not cheap either, it's about $39, but it's still not 52, do you know what I mean? So if you look hard enough, you will find things that will be doing the same thing if you don't wanna spend this kind of money. And I'm, I'm one of these people, I don't wanna spend $52 just on one item to go in my makeup bag. I also need foundation and the brow product and this and that. Like by the time this adds up, this is something that's just doing one thing Thing, fill your pores so hold your horses Tatcha, $52 so let's just see how these two products compare um, I'm gonna jump on to online claims prices so here we go guys so this is uh, the silk canvas it's one of their best sellers they get uh, 4.6 stars out of 5 but this is their one website but um, if you go to Sephora, it's also very highly rated. So you get 0.7 ounces for $52, or you can buy the travel size. Um, it says that it does not clog pores and it does not cause breakouts. Now, what I really want to know always is the ingredients. So the first, <laughs> the first ingredient on the list is this guy. I, I don't know if I should even attempt to pronounce it. Cyclopentaxixolin. Don't judge me. English is not my first language. Then it's water, glycerin. Um, then it's camellia senses leaf. Something else. So there's a lot of um, 
plant ingredients right after that. So the first three ingredients is this guy, water and glycerin. So remember that. Now let's jump into the Studio Secrets Magic Perfecting Base by L'Oreal. So this one is $12.95. I paid $13.49 in my Rite Aid. Always gonna get a different price everywhere. Don't know why. Gets 4.2 stars out of five. Again, this is their website. Now remember you guys, what was the first ingredient? Cyclopentaxane. <laughs> and it's the same guy. So then the second ingredient is Dimethicon and there's another type of Dimethicon, cross polymer, silica and stuff like that. So there's no plant based ingredients. Whereas here the list is really, really long plant extracts, but you do get dimeth dimethicon over here. Uh, so I don't know why they say it's, you know, non-clogging. Another dimethicon um, ingredient, you have silica, but just a bunch of other ingredients on top of the same stuff that you get here. And this is the Instant Smooth Perfecting Touch by uh, Clarence that I mentioned before. This product's been around for over a decade. So it's nothing new and also gets four out of five stars. I struggled to find the um, ingredient list. I don't know what's up with that. So I'm going to apply one of my favorite products to use right now, the L'Oreal Visible Lift. Uh, in every video I'm doing this, Ooh, I need to put my hair away. Okay, so this side is going to be the expensive side, it's going to be Tatcha, and this side is going to be the drugstore, L'Oreal. I just thought of something. This thing is fi almost five times more expensive than that. I guess you're paying for all the botanicals that you're getting in there, um, so that's the difference. But the true question is, does it do the same thing? Now you don't get a little spatula here, so let me go grab one. So it has a slight freshness scent to it. Um, so I'm using this much. Yeah, I like the way it smells. This actually smells, you know, like what the Green Clean uh, Pharmacy Cleansing Balm. That's what it smells like. Ooh, it's really nice. This is the first time me using it. See, it was untouched before. Focus. Um, it's really nice, actually. Wow. I'm loving it. Wow, I'm really like taking my time over here putting it on. It feels so luxurious. It feels so nice. It feels fresh. It feels hydrating. It feels amazing. Wow. So instantly you could see that it had mattified my face a little bit. This makes it super shiny and I love that. So it mattified it a little bit. I can see the difference in my pores you can tell right here so these are blurred and these are more exaggerated it feels slightly tacky not in a bad way I like that so I definitely got too much I had to put it back in the jar I know it's gross but I'm not about to waste this really expensive product so now this side is going to be the perfecting base from L'Oreal I'm going to use a little scoop as well. So now the texture of this is similar. It also feels like a really thick whipped cream, has no fragrance. So I'm going to apply it the same way everywhere, just like I did with the other one. I also didn't need the whole thing. This is too much. I'm just gonna wipe it off. 
stuff. Um, immediate thing that I noticed, this made my skin, my skin even more matte than the Tatcha one. So the Tatcha side is still looking very, very glowy, whereas this, this side is very matte, and, but it feels very similar. Yeah, it feels very similar, tacky as well. I think this feels more hydrating, the Tatcha side. So uh, I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit and then I'm gonna do my foundations. The True Match Lumi by L'Oreal has a pump, it's a luminous foundation. It's the next one I'm reviewing on my channel. So um, if you're interested, there's a whole bunch of foundation reviews in the review playlist. Um, so let's get to applying this foundation. Okay, my foundation is on and honestly, I do not see any difference, nothing. My skin looks exactly the same on both sides, pores minimized, fine lines filled in. I don't see any difference. I'm serious. Do you? <laughs> Dude, the only difference is the damn price tag. $52, um, $12. I understand that there is botanicals here that actually uh, treat your skin, but dude, if you don't have $52, I think this is a good substitute. It does exactly the same thing. I honestly don't see any difference. Um, so I'm going to powder my face and I'm gonna let you know what I'm using. I'm gonna use a very, very bougie product. It's the Becca Hydra Mist Powder. I love this so, so much. And I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup. Then I'm gonna do check-ins throughout the day to see how the foundation wore. And at the end of the day, I will give you my final thoughts. <music> So my makeup is done I'm going to go outside it's very sunny and windy so I'm gonna see how my makeup is gonna hold up I'll do some shopping walking around and stuff like that so this has been sitting for about 30 minutes on my face now I still don't see any difference to me actually this side looks better but it might be because I have less pores on this side than here. Here is very, very poorly. Um, pory? Pory? I don't know what I'm saying. Um, so, basically, yeah, it looks great. It feels exactly the same. Um, it doesn't feel anything different. So, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Hey you guys, it's been a really long day. Um, I forgot to check in during the day. Um, I was too busy walking around Central Park and enjoying the weather. As usual, my foundation comes off on my chin and um, this is not a long wearing foundation. About the primer. So the side, that the, the touch of side is obviously more shiny as you could see. And the L'Oreal side is more matte. 
So, and because of that, because it's much more creamier, it actually didn't hold up the makeup as good as the L'Oreal side. So, shockingly, like, look, it looks matte and it looks more put together rather than this side. So, shockingly, I think that L'Oreal wins. I know, it's kind of crazy. Not only it's a dupe, I think this is a better product. It just made, look, it, the skin looks untouched. Whereas here, you could see it's rubbing off and it's more shiny. Also, under the eye area, um here this is just eyeshadow that fell down but there's not much creasing as it is here here it's really creased and the product collected i think it's because the tatcha uh sorry it's my daughter <laughs> okay baby um i think because tatcha's uh ingredients have so much more emollients and moisturizing stuff and that's why it doesn't hold up so much so so my verdict, uh, this is definitely, absolutely, 100% a dupe of Tatcha. More so, L'Oreal uh, Perfecting Base is actually better than Tatcha. I can't believe I'm saying it, but it holds the makeup better. Uh, it stays on better. And yeah, so the only benefit of the Tatcha one is I see that it's better for your skin. Whereas the perfecting base um, does not have, have any nourishing ingredients. Uh, but other than that, it's, you know, it's makeup. You're going to take it off at the end of the day. And what, what you put on afterwards, that's what matters. I mean, at least to me. Um, so luxury loses, uh, drugstore wins, definitely a dupe even better than the original so uh let me know your thoughts i'm gonna have a links down below for both uh products if you shop through those links i get a small percentage from the sale this is how you can guys uh, support my channel as i said i buy everything with my own money thank you so much for watching take care bye bye